Now, despite the price of Terra Luna Classic moving sideways and now beginning to move lower along with the overall market, it remains one of the most talked about projects on the internet. It remains one of the most supported coins on social media. Terra Luna Classic remains one of the most exciting investment opportunities in the crypto space right now because it represents a comeback, a major comeback from a major fall. And we have been so far in such a short period of time. Guys, we have accomplished so much in Terra Luna Classic just in a few months. It's incredible to see the impatience of people kicking in as soon as they don't hit a 10x uh, return on their investment over a, a four day period or something. So I do want to go over some of the more recent updates with, with these proposals out there and, and things like that in this video just to kind of catch everybody up to what's going on in Terra Luna Classic right now because I, I completely understand it. We want the price to move, we want it to go up, we've got burns going on, things are looking great, but why do we seem that we can't break through resistance levels? So let's discuss it. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and $1 crypto trade is going to get you $5 in free crypto. Now, if you want a crypto exclusive exchange where you can buy and sell Terra Luna Classic, you've got KuCoin and Binance in the description. KuCoin offers rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. And then Binance. Binance allows you to buy and sell Terra Luna Classic for international investors. And we know that they are contributing very heavily to, to rebuilding this Terra Luna Classic blockchain. And they are also burning trading fees on that platform. So make sure to check both those out if you guys want but, you know, we don't need to recap where we've been and where we've come so far. But I hope everybody out there knows that we have made phenomenal strides in rebuilding this blockchain up until this point, And it's only been months. Guys, here's what I see happening, though. And, and we'll go into a little bit of why here in a second. I see a little bit of division coming across the, the Terra Luna Classic community, and I believe this could be one of the most toxic, just self-destroying things that we can see. And and it's here's, here's where I believe it stems from. <clears throat> Before, when there was nothing, when we had that blank slate and staking was going to be reinstated and burns would begin, we were going from no burns to burns. It wasn't no burns. We had the choice of 0.2% burns, developer fees, and so on. It was a very straightforward answer. We knew that we needed to burn Terra Luna Classic in order to get to these levels that we want to see and revitalize the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. So obvious answers in there. Now, all of a sudden, we're being provided multiple choice solutions, and this is where the division begins, and this is where it creeps in, and this is what could not devastate the blockchain, but leave a lot of people with bad taste in their mouth and wanting to walk away. So what does it look like now? We're, what, 20 days in, and the burn tax seems to be moving too slow for people. And I get that. I get the Terra Luna Classic may take 20 years at the current rate, to get down to a 10 billion supply. And I've said time and time again, we do not need Terra Luna Classic to be down to 10 billion to make money in this investment, to make money on the blockchain, to rebuild the blockchain. It's simply the goal. That's the, what do we do then? You know, if that is, if that's it, do we all just sell and give up? Absolutely not, guys. It's just a goal to get to that level and then continue to build from there. Right? I don't think anybody expects to just reach 10 billion and say, well, we're done now. What do we do? Do we just sell? Do we just hold it now? Now's the time that we wait for it to go up? No, absolutely not. So what we're seeing with the 0.2% uh, burn tax proposal and, and this developer's fee proposal, it does make sense. Right. And you can argue the pros and you can argue the cons all day long. And I could do the same thing. Right. 
You know, if we've got developers that think that they need to bring in $240,000 every two weeks uh, building on the Terralona Classic blockchain in their spare time, that seems a little excessive to me. If we've got people who literally can't afford to work anymore, otherwise, you know, they have to quit the project and so on, may be a different story. But what we've got right now, guys, is something special and, and, and it needs to be viewed as such. Terra Luna Classic, over the last couple of weeks, has begun trading alongside the market. Bitcoin, once again, is controlling the price. And this morning, it is no different. Bitcoin is falling lower, and Terra Luna Classic is following suit. It, it, we had an inflation report yesterday, and it was bad news, but people bought the dip. And that was great. Everybody got excited. And now, that excitement is fading, and people are realizing the, the significance of continual increasing inflation here in the United States. And if Terra Luna Classic continues to trade in this range or falls down a little bit, we could potentially lose one of the best things that we've got, and that's the community support. What we're seeing here is an opportunity, an opportunity not to give up. And I will tell you this, if you give up, you will not reap the rewards. If you leave, you do not see the gains. If you stay, and we stay committed together and united, that is the only way that we make progress. And I understand that you guys know that, right? So if you're looking at these new proposals that are out there, just reflect on a couple things here. <clears throat> One, Binance is showing major, major support for the Terra Luna Classic community. The largest exchange, crypto exchange in the world, supports this rebuild. Why can't you? <laughs> why, 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 why can't people just begin to, to realize this might take longer than a week? We might not have a Lamborghini by Christmas time, but if we stay committed, we will see financial success and we will see gains. If, if people need paid, if we need to re, reallocate funds from the taxes and things like that, you know, that is a conversation and it will be handled by a vote. And here's the thing we don't need to see. If the next vote isn't a 99% unanimous decision, then all of a sudden, and you've got 70-30 or 60-40 or in favor and, and out of favor of these different decisions, don't give up. We cannot give up. We absolutely move forward, and we move forward together. Guys, I want to see success here in the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. I want to see it for me. I want to see it for you, and I want to see it for everybody involved in this project, including places like Binance and, and those exchanges that are giving us support. So I want to know what you want to see. Let me know down in the comments below just how much of a lunatic you are. If the price moves sideways for six months, will you still be here? Let us know down there, and of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin, and Binance. Till the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.